Artificial intelligence is continuing to dominate the marketing and copywriting. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most tried and true methods to generate an income using email. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about newsletters. Now for me personally, I do collect emails on my personal site, saleslegacy.com, where people can learn more about some of the products and things that I offer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some inspiration, some examples of things you can do yourself in order to create a newsletter, generate an income, and how that entire process works. Now, if you're excited for this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing we got to cover is exactly how do email newsletters actually work and why will it be valuable for you? Now, some of the biggest companies right now or the most popular in Mindspace uh, is going to be like Morning Brew or maybe like the Hustle.co. So essentially what they're kind of doing is they're doing these newsletters, which are just like a quick five minute newsletter that they send every day. And it just gives you updates on what's going on in the news, whether it's like the business space, they also have different topics as well from like finance, tech, education. So pretty much a newsletter, you can talk about anything you want, whatever you're passionate about or whatever you feel like is interesting and you definitely can talk about it, right? The Hustle also offers like similar type of news as well. For example, if we were to go on the Morning Brew, uh, you can see over here, this is sponsorship opportunity. So that's how these guys are able to monetize by putting in the brands of other companies in order to get exposure, right? And so it kind of gives you the, you know, stock information, what's going on with the Super Bowl ads. I mean, all it is is really news, right? And you can kind of mix and match depending on what you want. It could be productivity tips and things like that. But as long as people continue to read every single day or every week or however you want to publish, you can either sell your own products on this or you can actually sell other people's products in the form of advertising and getting them more exposure from all types of topics, right? You know, there's uh, the Morning Brew. There's this other one that I follow, which is the Milk Road. As you can see, it's very similar to the Morning Brew in terms of the formatting and stuff like that. I mean, this one, they're just talking about what's going on in the crypto space, right? So every niche is going to have its own audience. So you just definitely want to keep that in mind. So how I would go about this is if you're creating a newsletter or you want to write about whatever topic interests you, you got to come up with a landing page, right? So the Morning Brew, their landing page is kind of like a blog where they, you know, kind of post the content and they have this landing page up here. The Hustle has one over here. The Milk Road has a simple landing page where you go on this page and then you're just going to sign up with the email address over here, right? So you want to create your own landing page. What you can actually do is take inspiration using Mid Journey. Mid Journey is basically you put in a prompt and then it'll give you like some examples, right? So for example, you know, if you're doing productivity, you could say, hey, Mid Journey, give me a landing page for a newsletter website about productivity with a text bar to type in the email sign up button blue color scheme inspired by the morning brew right this, this is just an example right and so it's just going to give you some examples over here and then you could take that uh, give it to a designer or design it yourself using figma or whatever the case is so that you have a unique landing page for yourself it doesn't have to be complicated you know you just want to use this as inspiration to see what you might be able to do from there it's all about writing the email so if someone gives you an email you want to welcome them with the first email right actually you can go to chat gpt and we use our artificial intelligence for this. And you can say, hey, look, write me a friendly and casual email, a uh, welcome email to send someone who has just signed up for my website to receive daily productivity newsletter. So it'll give you the subject line, welcome to the daily productivity newsletter, you know, replace it with your brand. Hey there, just wanted to personally welcome you to the daily productivity newsletter, right? And it'll give you this whole thing that you can basically kind of copy and paste or massage a little bit so that it's more in your tonality, your style, or maybe create different variations of this and put it as your welcome email. And then from there, what you can actually do is you can do a lot of things depending on which software you are using for your newsletter, right? Brings us to the sponsor of this video, which is going to be MailJet. Now, when it comes to running newsletters, right, you definitely don't want to like send these emails with Gmail because it's too much manual work. You got to have some kind of software in order to keep track of all the people that are reading your content and see how you can make it better and see how you can delight your readers with a better experience, right? And so why MailJet is quite interesting and why they're also a sponsor for this video is because if you want to make your newsletters look cool. Like Mailjet has these templates that you can like plug and play to make it easier for you to increase the aesthetics of your newsletter. And it's very easy. The editor is very easy for you to, you know, move things around, put images, put text. It's very intuitive, right? And that's one way to make your newsletters very engaging. On top of that, they really have this real-time collaboration where it makes it easy for people on your team to collaborate on a newsletter in case you have more than one person working on this. So it just makes the process a whole lot faster and the different permissions as well. And another important thing is the automation side, right? Because, you know, when you do a newsletter, sometimes you want to stagger things out. For example, if you write a campaign that's like four emails long, you can say, hey, when they sign up, send them this email two days later, 
send them another email. Five days later, send them another email. And so without having to manually do it every time, you can set up an automation where it will do the work for you as long as you set that up. And what's really interesting is that there's these features of segmentation. And so you can segment readers into different buckets depending on their interests, their age, geographics, whatever it is, so that you can create a better experience for the reader. And on top of that, as you segment your audiences and you create different automations, you can actually see all the different analytics of who's reading, who's not, what links are they clicking on so that you can figure out different strategies to make your emails so much more powerful. So if you do want to use some kind of email newsletter, marketing automation, when it comes to email, make sure to check out my link at mailjet.com slash Patrick. So now that you have an understanding of the whole email newsletter thing, you created a landing page, you got people are signing up for your email newsletter, and now you need to write the content. So what you can actually do is you can use chat GBT in order to help you get inspiration, right? So I'm not saying you should do this, but it's an easy way to do it. Let's say you wanted to just rewrite an article from, you know, a website, right? So you can say, Hey, here's a link to the website. Can you write a short email newsletter about productivity, write it in a friendly tone, casual tone, catchy subject line, and you want to paraphrase it, for example, right? I mean, this is just like the lazy way to do it, but this obviously I just example. What happens when you give it to ChatGPT? It'll give you a subject line and the title of the newsletter, and it'll give you some of the top productivity tips. And there you go. And then from here, you can kind of change out the different tips. So you know, you definitely don't want to copy people exactly. You want to take inspiration, see different ideas of what you can do, and then make it really cool for your newsletter to create a unique, original experience for your readers, right? And then if you have you know the, all the marketing software automation, you're kind of like taking ChatGPT to write the content itself. Then you're using some kind of like marketing automation tool in order to set this up so that when people read, it's just like a very automated seamless experience and you can kind of take it from there. And then if you want to switch out different points of the newsletter, you can say something specific like, Hey, chat GPT, please try again, replace point number one, number two, number seven with different ideas. And it will do that exactly for you. Right? So pretty powerful indeed. Now, another way to get interesting ideas for your newsletter is if you want to do Google searches, right? So for example, if you Google just productivity tips, they're very simple, right? It's just going to give you the top articles that are the most relevant to people who are reading. It'll give you these productivity tips from there. What you could do is you can say, Hey, you pick one of those top topics. For example, this one says people also ask what is the one, three, five rule. I don't even know what that is. So what you can do is you can do a little research on it, go on chat GBT, and then you can say, Hey, chat GBT, please write a short and friendly informative newsletter about the one, three, five rule of productivity, include a catchy subject title. You got the subject, you got the title. And then from there, it's going to give you a quick productivity newsletter for the one, three, five rule. Right. And so there you go. That's going to be a newsletter for you that you can send out. And of course you got to review it, make sure it's something that's good because you can't just like copy and paste this all the time. It's not gonna be interesting, right? You have to make sure that you have that element, that human touch, and you kind of do this a few times to make sure that it is good. And one of the things to create the best possible reading experience for your viewers is to really A-B test your content and then really see what's working, what's not, right? That's why you need some kind of software in order to do this. For example, if you know that if you write a subject line, what is the chance someone's gonna open? If you were to use MailJet, for example, you can have two different subject lines and use ChatGPT to say, hey, you know, generate two different subject lines for this particular newsletter. It'll give, it's gonna give you two and then use both of them at the same time and you see which one are more likely to open based on your audience, right? So the one that actually wins, what you can do from there is say, okay, well, why did it win? And how do I create more uh, subject lines like this? But if you're not tracking your subject lines and you have no way to A-B test and look at the data, well, you're just kind of guessing and throwing darts in the dark. That's why it's so critical that you test these things and you have different ideas and you generate those ideas using artificial intelligence, but you have to have some kind of marketing automation software to keep track of the entire thing. So you know what works, what doesn't work, and you can improve from there. And so as you continue to get a following, as your email newsletter gets better and better, what's going to happen is that people are going to reach out to you or you can reach out to them for sponsorship opportunities, right? So the more people you have reading your newsletter, the better experience you create, the more value you have for the companies that want to come in and sell their products and services. So if you're an email newsletter, you know, you can definitely sell like productivity courses, productivity journals, productivity tools, productivity software, right? Maybe it's Notion, right? Maybe Notion wants to do a campaign for all the influencers in the newsletter space. Then you could definitely sell Notion. You can sell like Airtable, become an affiliate. So there's many things you can do as long as you have readers in that particular niche that trust your opinion. So that's why you can't just copy and paste these things. You actually have to really think whether or not this is actually good content for your readers. Now, if you want people to sign up for your newsletter, you can definitely create different blogs. You can create a YouTube channel. You can create a TikTok channel. Many things you can do to drive people to your landing page to get them to give you their email so that you can start this entire process. And so with that said, that is everything we got to cover for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'm going to see you in the next one.